A West Borbish resident, Mr. Rensford McDonald, is Borbish's newest centenarian who celebrated his birthday, his 100th birthday, yesterday. More in this report by Narima Ali. God bless me. Thank you very much. I believe that. Those were the words of Burbisa's newest centenarian, Mr. Edwin Rensford MacDonald, of number 22 Bel Air West Coast Burbis, who celebrated his 100th birth anniversary yesterday, February 10, 2022. Mr. MacDonald was born in 1922 in Hopetown Village West Coast Burbis to parents Abel and Christina MacDonald and is one of nine children. He completed his primary education at the Hopetown Congregational All Age Hall, now called the Hopetown Primary School. Attention, listen to what list to. We used to drink rum mm -hmm. and rally in the prayer mm -hmm. and change me. Have a most good night, Ray. He was married to Anna MacDonald, and that union bore 15 children, nine of whom are still alive. His daughter, Renta Williams, described her father as a strict parent. He was a disciplinarian. He likes to see things go straight. If not, you get wrong. And he's a nice person. Anytime he comes, he asks each and every one of us. Each and every one of us he asks for, and you have to see them. If not, you wait until whenever you come, you have to tell him where you went and what you do and where you're being. Further, she said, I feel he deserved it because he was a, a strong man. He, he always doing work, exercising himself. He go here, he never sit at home by himself. say, I do not need to find everything to do. Clean his drain, clean his yard, go to the back down, look after his cows, always. A strong person. His other daughter had this to say. But I feel blessed because to do that is that is really a blessing from God. You're here to take care of your parents. You're here what's the look like I do, I do. But you have a kid take who looks after him whenever you're not here. And my brother looks after everything. And this man is a hard working man. Alright? He likes to see things go good. He's a disciplinary, he loves to like to discipline people. You cannot complain whether you do, 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 do the thing or not, it's there to do this. Rear cattle, work hard in the farm yard. Here, he, he do a lot of hard work. He walk around the region, around the area. He work from the time he, I, I was born, he walk around in the city, he come choose his head from the bar cattle. And then, yes, Kokwani, Kokwani, and all this place. And the village of, he was a village ranger. And the place where his body is. His son Errol MacDonald shared these memories about his father's younger days. <laughs> my father, I must say, a person I must say, I must wish him happy body. I must wish him happy body and he deserve his century. He deserve it. Well, since I'm growing up, I always knew him as a hard working man. I was with a disciplinarian. Since I know him always, we grew up, we, we grew up with um, a lot of stocks. So I know myself. We had cow, sheep, goat, dog, fowl, everything. I grew up, I grew up within, uh, and, 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 and um, as a farmer. We always farm over at, at the back dam. We call it back. Back. Yes. I know him, I barely know this. When there was a um, cutting rice with brass knife. And we get, um, we call it um, oxen. I barely catch a piece of that. <laughs> he too is excited that his father is 100 years old. <laughs> yeah? I trust in God. You know, real tree figure. There's a great distance. Yeah? You know when a man, when a man can send always with his bat? Yeah. When he's supposed to raise his bat now? <laughs> I give them. <laughs> I, I, the Bible is the only appearance. And mother and father. Yeah. Mr. Ransford MacDonald, like many other elder persons, is faced with arthritis pains in the knees and joints, as well as visual impairment. Yesterday, Mr. MacDonald celebrated his birthday in fine style at his home with his children and other relatives and friends.
The Channel 8 News team wishes to extend best wishes to Barbisa's newest centenarian on this milestone. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.